to go back to that. It is well. So now you can do stuff, some of your nice little licks in A flat right there, couldn't oh, you? Oh yeah. <laughs> You've played at churches with thousands of members. You play with churches with maybe not thousands of members. Right. Currently, and I learned this, your father is a pastor. My dad is a pastor for yeah. over 40 plus years. So, yes. Yeah, 40 so. plus years. Now, would you say the church that you play, because you're there Sundays, mm -hmm. right? I'm there on Sundays. Now, he can play at any church in America. We, we all know this. We see <laughs> this. You're at your dad's church. I'm at my dad's church. Yeah. How many members? Is this like a so, thousand? Or? No, no. We got like about, you know, it's it's family church. So we got like about, you know, between 75, 50 people. So. And would you say that it's not just because it's your dad, but you're there because you really feel like God has called you to that place? Yes. Yeah, so I'm just, you know, I've built up, you know, a lot of other people's ministries, their music ministries. Yeah. But I didn't want to be the, the one that, you know, I always left home dry. Mm. You know, and it, and it wasn't fair that the gift that God gave me, I didn't help build up my dad's ministry, my ministry that I grew up in. You yeah. know, this is where my dad prayed over me with this whole gift. You know, this is where mm. I was able to work out the kinks, you know, the mothers get up singing in any key. That was that was the blessing with my church. They yeah. would get up and sing in any key. So it was like testimony service. Testimony service. Okay. They, any key. But, you know, they they allowed me to work through a lot of stuff. So, mm -hmm. you know. I, I was there, they, I, they, I practiced there. Mm. So I was able to take all of the stuff that I learned and was able to go out. Mm. So what, what better way to come back and take everything that I've learned and just kind of build up, you know, Man, my home church. You have a heart for ministry and you're definitely I would say God led, man, because not too many people, and I've even struggled with it in my personal life. I've struggled with God, is this where you want me to be or is this where I want to be? That's, See, there's a difference. That's, that's a big question. Yeah. Is this where I want to be or is this where I need to be? Mm. Like a lot of times you need to take out, take away your wants. And like, you know, you, you got to kind of pray about some things. God may need you to just kind of help move this situation yeah. and moving that situation, making those sacrifices opens up so many doors, man. So you say your obedience has opened doors for you. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Mm. <laughs> hey, listen, we're not making this stuff up. Like, I didn't even know this conversation was going to go this way. No. But I like, man, the faithfulness that you're imparting into young musicians and even some of the um, older season musicians. Some of them have forgotten the path that God has set for them. And to right. know that, man, you're going back and you're sowing and everything has a season. I mean, I wouldn't expect you to always be there year right. after year. After, but everything has a season. And in this season, this is where God has led you. This is where God got me at, man. Like, you know, I can be at any like my dad. He's old school, 80 years old. You know, yeah. he ain't. Our church ain't about no whole hefty salary for a whole music department. Okay. You know? Okay. Fam a family church, so you know they gonna do it. And it's like I'm not looking for no big salary. You know they're okay. not gonna pay me what this large ministry over here paying me. Yeah. And I know that, but I'm not in it for the money. Right. Right. You know sometimes you just gotta be there because this is where you need to be. Mm. Your that assignment. Was, it's your assignment. Yeah. Your assignment. Yeah. And right. you just said something, man. You said, I'm there and God has opened up. So you're saying go where God is telling you to go and he will create the provisions. He will make a way for yeah. everything else, man. Yeah. Like I, I've never needed or wanted for anything. You yeah. know, stuff is still taken care of. God yeah. blesses me in other areas where I'm not being, where I feel like I'm not being financially taken care of in one spot. He makes other avenues open and take care of things. Yeah. So... Can we give your dad a shout out? What's your, what's your father's name? Robert East. Pastor Robert, Robert. East. Oh, you a junior? No, my name is Rodney. I'm oh, well, Rod you did say Robert. Okay, Rodney. I'm sorry. Robert yeah. East. No, he, it's so yeah. many Roberts yeah. in my dad's Actually, family. in my ears, because you know we got ears. I mm -hmm. thought you said Rodney, but you said Robert. Okay, yeah. got you. It's so many Roberts in my dad's yeah. family. So my mom was like, no, we are not having no more Roberts. Yeah, so yeah. Name Rodney, so yeah. yeah. That's really cool, man. I, I needed that story, man, even for this stage of my life. So I appreciate you sharing that with us. Yeah, I mean, everybody, everybody has their direction where they want to go. You know, you can take your talents and build up a small man ministry and that may open up doors you know they see how you are with this yeah and sometimes a lot of people are not ready for big ministries you know mm. that's because they feel like they can play you know you get over here and you, you know you just kind of like you know in a situation that you can't handle yep you know yep. a pastor used to tell me all the time you know never let your gift or your talent take you where your character can't keep you that's good so that's good well we needed that man thank you for oh, sharing that with us that's good stuff man <laughs> so it is well so we're in D flat, so okay. Mm. 
Så lad os meget mere Ja. Go back to that. It is well. So now you can do stuff, some of your nice little licks in A flat right there. Oh, you? yeah. Right there, bro. <laughs> and the thing is, it will sound different every time you play it. Every time I play it. So every time you play it. But so, I want to make sure that that melody stays low for me. Got you. Got you. So melody is definitely key. Mm -hmm. All right. So hopefully I caught that. Melody is low, right? Melody is low. I don't want to <laughs> get so caught up in a song that I misplace where I'm at. So I want to make sure that I'm still always staying on that melody, whatever I'm playing. Yeah. Okay. I like that. So let's do this one more time. And I'm just kind of just follow suit. I mm -hmm. know you played it through one time and it'll be different this time. That's okay. cool. We're, we're okay with that. Um, how would you play this if you were just like, man, just want to experiment and just have a lot of fun? How, how would you? So... That's what I would do if I'm just kind of like want to have a little, a little extra fun with it. <laughs> this <laughs> speechless again, bro. Oh man! <laughs> now here's the thing: he also played a, a downscale version of this. So anybody who's like, "Oh man, he's just showing off," no, nah, he gave you the basics. He kept the melody at the top, which is key, right? You say melody which is long. Is, melody is long. He kept it in the pocket at the beginning. I asked him to stretch out. Hey, he gave. He hey. asked me to stretch out, so I'm just just a little, just kind of <laughs> coming out. But you know, that melody ain't going nowhere. Yeah, so you're gonna yeah. hear that melody on that piece yeah. somewhere. Um, so we're obviously still in D flat, um, mm -hmm. and we can just kind of stay here, um, just kind of just free flow. Just just give us something just off the top that you we we know you've done this in all twelve keys, mm -hmm. and you've done it like in all twelve keys several times. So we'll just stay here in D flat and just give us some some nice little Rodney East. Passings, you know what I mean? Just, Passings, yeah. and it is well. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be it is well. It can be whatever. Whatever. At this point. There we go. Remember that one? That's that. That's yeah. that octave type. That's type octave vibe. Yeah, right. I like that. Yeah. So you choose choosing random major chords. Random to... major chords over that A flat. Okay. Which is kind of, it kind of plays with them. 
Mmm. Mmm. Anything can play off of that. Just, it's just yep. makes sitting you kind on of that five. Hold it down. on that five, right? So yep. it's, it's there are no kind of rules with that. You know, just make it, make it, make sense. Make yep. it pretty. So. Yep. Nice, nice. Yeah. 